Why are Muslims afraid of leaving Islam? Well, the main thing is that Quran says that if you um, associate partners with uh, Allah, you'll go straight to hell. So that's the first thing they're afraid of, that if they uh, you know, uh, leave Islam or accept Christianity or something, they will go to hell. The second reason is because Islam says that you know, anybody who leaves the faith should be killed. So they don't want to be killed, which is <laughs> understandable. And the third thing is that uh, they don't want to be abandoned by their family and friends because uh, as a Muslim, they cannot associate with a Muslim who has left Islam because uh, they have left the faith. So they'll be, um, they'll be uh, you know, lose their family, friends, and everything. So those are the main reasons. And uh, there are very few people that, uh, you know, who have the courage to say, wait a minute, no, I, I want to go to heaven and I want to accept Christianity because that's the truth. But... Um, in order to do that, they have to be convicted by the Holy Spirit. And um, the more they learn about Christianity, the more they read the Word and everything, and they understand it, then it's only through the Holy Spirit that they will take the step of leaving everything. Because the Bible says, those who love their mother, father, or anybody else more than me don't deserve me. So those people who understand that, and, and that, was, I believe, was said for the non-believers, because it's very hard to leave your faith and, and your family with it and accept Jesus. So, but Jesus has this standard that, you know, I am worth the top position in your, in your life. Otherwise you're not worthy of me. And, um, and there's the people who do that and they're, they're the very courageous people that take that step, but they're also convicted by the Holy Spirit. So nobody can just, uh, there are people who just uh, think that they, by the converting, they can get a visa or something. Cause uh, these, these days there are people that come here and they, they, they want to get like some kind of a visa for protect to, to just say because I cannot go back to my country because I've left the religion, but they don't understand Christianity. So that's not real conversion. And um, it's it's sad that you know Islam is just there because of fear. You know, uh, fear is what keeping them in Islam. If they if they and and that's why they have these things because uh, the first thing that happened after Muhammad died was a. All uh, the first war that happened in, in the civil war that happened in Islam was between Muslims because those Muslims that were fearful of Muhammad, but when they found out he died, they all left Islam. And his uh, uh, successor had to go to war with those people and kill those people and terrorize them into going back to Islam. That's how Islam became, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, took over the uh, the Arabian Peninsula because of the sword that they use and because of fear that's how islam is spread there's no other reason why uh, you know anybody would want to stay and, and if they have to if their life is threatened you know a lot of people are, are gonna you know stay uh, stay with islam so that's the fear is what rules islam there's no love in islam there's no uniting force in islam if islam was loving then uh the Saudi Arabia, Qatar, all these rich countries, they hate Muslims. They don't let them have any rights in their own countries, even other Muslims from other countries. So uh, they don't allow them citizenship. They don't allow them anything like that because they, they, it's not because you're a Muslim brother. Like if you take, the, for example, the refugees, they, they run to the West. Why? Because in the West, they get all, uh, all kinds of support. Mm. But they can't go to uh, Islamic countries because they yeah. know they'll get nothing over there. Wow. Abuse and all that other stuff. So uh, just look at like uh, refugees in like Lebanon or uh, all these other places. They're, they're, they're exploited over there, all the refugees and stuff. Whereas if they come to the West, they get all kinds of free housing and everything. And the government keeps them in like five-star hotels and four-star hotels and pays five million a, a day for their... <laughs> Hotel, uh, you know, charges and stuff. So, Islam is just a, a very, very, um, it's like a tyranny, you know. Uh, if you don't accept it, we'll kill you. And uh, the, your family will leave you. And, uh, you know, it's a threat. It's a mortal threat uh, right after if you leave Islam. So, nobody wants to leave Islam. Because it's not because people don't want to leave. Now, I'll tell you something else. What's going on in uh, Iran right now? 33% of the people in Iran say they've left Islam. Why? Because they've seen the real face of Islam. And, uh, and nobody wants to stay in, with Islam anymore. With it. So the apostasy in Islam is great right now because uh -huh. of the internet. There is, uh, in the last few years, people are like leaving Islam by hundreds and thousands. You can see that online. 
there are now uh, in every country there is like an ex-Muslim movement, and there's more and more people joining that movement. And, and um, so, so Islam is like a, can only dwell in like dark places where there is no um, information and everything. But now that we are living in the information age, everybody has a phone and they can go on YouTube and they can go everywhere and find out. And people are talking about Islam, and um, it's exposing the lies of Islam. And so people are finding out what they couldn't find out before. We couldn't talk about things uh, and, and they would hide behind Arabic language and stuff like that. And that's not the case because nowadays anybody can take the word uh, maker and Google it and find out that it means cunning and the cunning is a deceiver is a cunning and the same thing. So um, a liar. So if your God is a, is, a, uh, is a mocker, he's a deceiver. And that's what the Quran is saying that Allah is uh, the greatest of markers. So that's the kind of religion you're in then. Your, your God is a deceiver. And the uh, father of lies, and in, in the Bible, the father of lies is Satan. So Allah is Satan. <laughs> That's 